It is week three of Poochie's Memmy Mondays and you are here with me, Project Sparkle. If you want to check out the other incredibly talented crafters on this hop, they will be linked down below in the description. I would very much recommend that you do and there is so much inspiration floating around. You have got weeks one and two to binge watch and then obviously we are here with week three content as well. So there's plenty of inspiration for you to go and soak up on all of those channels. This week I thought I would make another Christmas memory decks. So I'm definitely feeling the festive vibes at the moment. This is actually my last Christmas creation and I have moved on to Halloween. So you can expect a spooky cute memory decks next week. This is an SVG from Adriana Alvarez. She sells them over on Etsy and this is the mailbox design. So I bought this last year, I think, and I love making them. I make them in all sorts of different themes and things and they always turn out super sweet. So I've already pre-cut that to save you watching the boring parts. And now I have stitched my pretty papers and I'm adding those onto a red base. I'm using some doodle bug papers this week. So the pretty dotted one is, I believe it's night before Christmas. I think that's the collection that I'm using, but I will check for you. So if you want to know, hit me up in the comments and um, make sure that I let you know <laughs> what this collection is called. I'm working on the little flag part for the mailbox now. So the piece that would go up and down if you have mail. And this one is a super sweet heart shape which I'm planning to turn into a shaker. So I'm adding that heart piece, the outline onto some acetate. I use another cardstock piece here to see if it will raise it enough and it doesn't quite. So I do end up using some foam tape, but I've just stitched around the edge of that heart on my machine. And then I move on to stitching the little arm piece that would hold the heart. And I've done that in a zigzag stitch. I usually do that when the pieces are too small for me to go around the edge. Um, in my opinion, I'm sure plenty of people could do it, but I cannot be bothered. So I've done the zigzag stitch along there. Then I'm layering up a bunch of these memory decks sort of shapes. Um, what would you call that? It's just the piece that would go onto the memory decks holder. Layered a bunch of those to make it more sturdy. Folding all of my score lines on this file, this cut file. And sort of working out how it will go together showing you how it goes together and then working out which way round this memory dex piece needs to be when i glue it together and it needs to be upside down <laughs> the way i just had it but i have just noticed that my hot glue gun is not on so i've turned it on and i've gone back to the hot shaker while that warms up using some of these really thin foam strips from amazon and they are incredible. You can manipulate them to whatever shape you're doing. And they're super thin. I use them on pretty much every product. Now, every project, sorry, now that I've found them. I was going for they're a great product and every project. <laughs> My brain's trying to combine too many thoughts at once. These little peppermint swell candies are from AliExpress. And they are beautiful. I use them in everything. Adding a few pretty iridescent sequins and beads in there as well. I don't actually end up using this heart piece, which is a shame. I was tempted to pull just the heart off and use that in my layering, but the way I made the cluster, it just sort of didn't fit on this project. So I'll keep hold of that for another one. Backing that with a plain piece so it looks neater when it's attached. Now my hot glue is warm. I can stick this memory Dex piece on the bottom of the mailbox. And then just for some extra stability, I have some foam tape that is the same height as my memory decks piece. So I've put that next to it just to make it all one height and really easy to stick together. Adding some hot glue on there and then folding that in. You can see it much better than I can explain it, but this is the way I would put that together, pinching that piece inside. These tweezers that hold themselves closed are really handy for jobs like this. And then finishing my memory dex shape, finishing putting that box together. Again, tweezers coming in very handy for that. 
and it's on to decorating which is by far my favorite part i'm using more of the doodle bug i'm pretty sure that's night before christmas but again i will check for you and i'm going through and there's so many options i was thinking santa with the sack full of toys i was thinking just presents i considered one of these little girls or boys to go on there there are so many fun options but when I came across this armchair with the little dog, I thought, perfect. I can't think of many things I make that are this size that it would fit so perfectly on. Um, so he is definitely going to make it onto this one. Pulling out some presents and then a little tree to tuck behind to create my little scene. I've mentioned before that I do love to make a scene with my die cuts and my ephemera. I wanted something to anchor this to the page. So I'm making a, I don't know what you call it, like a concertina strip, like you would make a rosette, but I'm just gonna fold it up and then use it to create some dimension and also a base for my cluster to sit on. So concertina folding that backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, just until I've got enough to go across the front of the memory decks. I could have done the whole thing, but I only did what I needed. I'm that kind of crafter. <laughs> Using hot glue to attach that to the front there and making sure all of those peaks are evenly spaced. And that gives me a lovely dimensional layer. I do think it's a great trick for adding lots of dimension and making it look really chunky. That little clear box was just on my desk. I use them to hold die cuts and things and it fits perfectly inside this mailbox and it's great so that you've got a sturdy sort of um sturdy level sturdy surface to press on when you're putting all your ephemera on and i wanted to add something a little bit extra to the tree so i've got these i think they're called doodads you can get them from buttons galore i don't think that's where i got these though i think i got these maybe on AliExpress or in a swap, one of those, but they're just pretty little gems. And I have used hot glue to stick those ones down onto each of the baubles on the tree. So I've matched the color of the little gem to the color of the bauble that was already on the tree and added those for a bit of extra Christmas sparkle. Adding back on my little dog. I wasn't sure what to do, you saw my little jazz hands of frustration there <laughs> where I'm trying to decide how to how to add things and what to add I go for this sentiment which says here comes Santa Claus this is from the paper that has all the different pretty strips and I've stitched along the bottom there to underline the quote or the wording snipped off those little snowflakes in the end I was thinking about keeping them but they didn't make the final cut and then I've just bannered the edges there. I think it's um, fishtail banner, is it? Is that what you'd call it? And that little border strip from the 12 by 12 stickers, the pink scallop, pulls the pink in nicely and gives me another little base for my cluster. I do love that the Doodlebug collections come as collection kits so you can get all the papers and then the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So you've automatically got some decorations with your papers, some embellishments. Putting the sentiment up on foam tape. Again, just to make more dimension in the layers and popping some of the presents behind the armchair, sort of partially behind and then another one in front. I think I end up with that pink one. I liked the green, but I thought it was too much green with the Christmas tree and the red blended in with the sentiment too much. So I go for that pink one with the blue ribbon. This little train was adorable. I thought it would be really sweet to have a mixture of presents that were wrapped and then some that were unwrapped. So the little train makes it on there in the pile of presents. Adding on my sentiment with some hot glue. Then the little train goes on at the front there. That is from the 6x12 sticker sheet. 
I'm not sure if I show you it fully. That It's sort of peeking in on the left there when I grab things from it. This is a little bone which is wrapped up like a present, which I thought was perfect on the picture of the little dog, like to use them together. Picture of the dog in the chair and the little Christmas wrapped bone. I add this green present, again from the sticker sheet. It's a bit smaller than the die cut pieces, so cardstock pieces, so it's handy to have to layer. And then the dog bone, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought, is on the right there, just above the word claws. Now watching it back, I think it looked really sweet as if it was sort of in the dog's arms. Um, I'm tempted to go back and change that, to be honest. But it looks sweet where it is. Let me know in the comments if you would go back and change that or if you'd leave it as it is. Adding all the little sprinkly bits now. So there's lots of stars in this collection, which I like. And then I've got some of these sprinkles, the little candy peppermint pieces that I used in the shaker. I've got some of those on my desk. So I end up adding a few of those in random spots on the layout. And then some stars from the sticker sheet and some stars from the die cut pack as well. Popping that one on some foam tape. Just trying to bring in all of the colours that I've used. So some pink, some yellow, some green, some blue. All of those in the little sprinkly bits. This star is peeking out from behind the chair. This blue star I mess with so much, <laughs> I'm surprised it stayed sticky, but it did and it makes it in the end. These little bits are probably the bit I find hardest, the bit that I mess with the most and I move around the most. This candy cane just sort of jumped out at me and when I put it in that spot behind the chair, I thought, perfect. So I popped that on. I think that's why I didn't like the heart-shaped flag piece. Once I added that candy cane, that sort of took that spot, if that makes sense. And I didn't think that the heart needed to be on there as well. If you are enjoying this video, it would be great if you could like and subscribe. If you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when I put up any crafty videos. And I would love to see you around here more often. So please go ahead and do that if you are enjoying it. I will be having a giveaway. I will put the details on my fourth week. So next week, I'll have the details for the giveaway. And I think I've mentioned, but a lot of the ladies are having giveaways. So make sure to check out the videos and see all the entry requirements and things on each person's video. Everybody is hosting their own giveaway. So there'll be different rules and entry requirements and all that sort of thing. But they will all be linked in the description. So check them out. And stay tuned for week four, where I'll tell you all about how to enter mine. If you have any suggestions for prizes, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to know what you guys would like to win. I am adding some extra sparkle here, some extra glitter. So I've got my glitter glue out. This is the Stardust um, by Stickles. And I'm adding that to a few of the stars that are sort of sprinkled around. And then to the top of this Christmas tree, just to add a bit more Christmas glitter and magic. Even more glitter and magic. I've got some gems. I was using the iridescent ones that I use all the time, but I decided they didn't match quite as well as just the clear gems. So I've gone for just the clear gems all over this. And then I've got some little dots of glitter glue as well. And our Christmas memory decks for this week is complete. So I'm just taking the box out there to show you it all finished. I love how this came together. I love the Christmas magic of this and the little scene with the dog. I hope you have enjoyed this week's process and I will see you again next week for another one and in between for some other videos from me. I'll see you then. Bye.